Okay, welcome back. This is going to be part two of the Hangman game that we've been coding in Python. Just a quick recap of what we've done so far. So at the very beginning here, we have a list of words. And this will be the list that the program will pick one from. In the next part, we're choosing that random word. So we're taking a random word from this list up here and storing it in a variable called picked. Next, we have two different lists. We have one for right and one for wrong. So these will be storing the correct guesses in right and the incorrect guesses in wrong. And then what we have so far is if the guess is in pick, so if we guess a correct letter, we're adding it to the right list. Otherwise, if we guess a wrong letter, we're going to be adding that to the wrong list. All right, so starting from here, the first thing we're going to do is add one more line right below here. For this line, we're going to say print. Inside the parentheses, we're going to start by saying the word has. And I'm going to close my quotation marks. Next, I'm going to get the length of the word. To do that, I'm going to say len, which stands for length. And the length of the word, which is stored in picked. After that, I'm going to use another quotation mark with the word letters. And what this line does, whatever word that gets picked by this random.choice, it'll print out a message that says the word has, and then the number of letters in the word, and then the word letters. The next thing we're going to do is for this write list, instead of just an empty list, we're going to start it out with dash marks or underscores. And we're going to populate it by using the length of picked. So to get the number of underscores that matches the number of letters in the word, you're going to multiply this list by the length of picked. And what this will do, based on the number of letters in the picked word, it'll put that many underscores in our write list. The next thing we're going to do is right under here, we're going to be making a function. So def for defining the function. The name of our function is going to be update. just like that. And what this function is going to do, it's going to print out the correct letters in the right list. So to do that, I'm going to say for i in right. What it's going to do is print the letter. And I want them to print one after the other, not in a vertical line. So to do that, I'm going to say end is equal to then quotation marks with one space in between. And after that, I'm just going to print a new line by doing this. Okay, so let's see what we have so far. And just to test it, I'm just going to call the function right here. So all we're checking for is to make sure this function prints out correctly. So run. Okay, so the new things we added. So we have a message that says the word has seven letters. And then it prints out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different dash marks. And that's what the function we just added did. All right, let's go ahead and head back to the code and add some more stuff to this. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the while true loop. And we're going to modify this statement right here. Uh, so what we have so far, it'll add the correct letters to the list, but it doesn't put them in any particular order. And what we're, what we're going to try to do next is insert the letters in the correct position. So, for example, if my word is Python and I guess the letter Y, then I want it to enter the Y into the second underscore. If I guess the letter T, then I would want that placed in the third underscore. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of this stuff right here. And so what I'm going to do is right under here, I'm going to start by saying index is equal to 0. And then for i in picked, so for each letter in picked, if that particular letter is equal to the guess letter, then I'm going to insert it. So I'm going to say right. And then what I'm going to put here is index. And this is going to be equal to guess. 
And after that, I'm going to say index plus equals 1. All right, so just to go over this real quick. So if I get a correct guess, which will be this part right here, then what I'm doing is I'm making a variable called index and starting it at 0. And then for each letter in picked, I'm seeing if my guess is equal to that letter. So for example, if I guess the letter P, then it'll check and see if P is in this word here. And if that is true, then what it's going to do, it's going to insert that guess into the list here at a particular index. And that index is going to be based on the value of the variable I called index. So the reason I'm doing this is if a letter has, or if a word has multiple letters that are the same, uh, so for example, this one has two R's. What it's going to do, it's going to go through, and so this first R is at index 1. So it'll insert the letter R at index 1. And it'll also, so the other one is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The other R is at index 4. So it's going to say right at index 4 is going to be equal to R. And there's probably better ways of doing this, but this is a quick and easy way of doing it, and it works. Okay, and before we try this out, we have to do one more thing. After it goes through this loop, we want to do the update function so that it prints out the new list of right. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, the word has seven letters, so I'm going to guess the letter P. All right, so it entered the letter P in the first position. So let's see if this is Python. So let's check Y. So it's not Python. That means it's program. So let's test the letter R and see if it places it in the second position here and also the fourth one. Good. So we see that we have an R in the second position and also in this other position over here. So that's good so far. So let's go ahead and head back to our program. Okay, let's go ahead and look under this else statement and add a few more things to it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of what we wrote before. And we're going to say if guess not in wrong. What we're going to do is say wrong dot append. And what we're going to add to the wrong list would be the guess. And then else, we're going to print, you already guessed that. Okay, so what we're checking here is there's two different possibilities. So either the guess is in picked, which it would fall under this category here. If it's not in the picked word, then it's going to fall under this else statement. And then what we're checking with these two is to see if it's already in the wrong list. So this statement says if the guess is not in wrong, which would mean that this guess I haven't repeated, then it'll go ahead and add it to the wrong list. If I have already guessed this letter, then it'll print out a st statement that says you already guessed that. Okay, we'll do one more thing down here. So we'll say if underscore not in right. So this will mean that all the underscores are replaced by letters, and that would mean that we win. Let's go ahead and print out the message. You win. And then we'll go ahead and break our loop. All right, let's go ahead and test what we have so far. So what we're checking for is we'll guess a wrong letter twice, and we'll see if it prints out the message you already guessed that. And then once we get all the letters, we'll check to see if it breaks the loop. Okay, the word has six letters. That means the word would be Python. All right, so I guess letter P. Let's go ahead and guess a wrong letter, so I'll guess letter G. And it looks like something is up. So let's go back to the code and see what we did. Okay, so what we did, or what we didn't do actually, is we didn't print out the list of wrong letters. So where we're going to put that is right after this else statement. So we're going to print, and then we'll just do wrong. 
All right, let's go back and run again. So guess a letter. So seven letters, that means it's program this time. We'll guess our wrong letter, so let's guess T. Okay, it puts it in the wrong list. I'll try guessing T again. And it says you already guessed that. So it doesn't let me repeat wrong guesses. All right, let's go ahead and finish this up. So it was program, so R, O, G, A, and M. And then what I'm checking now is to see if it breaks out of the loop. All right, and it looks like it does. So it prints out the message you win. And then I see that my program has ended. All right, let's go back and add a few more things now. So I think what we'll do next is add a way to lose the game. So you can lose in Hangman by guessing too many wrong letters. So we'll just add another if statement down here that says if the length of wrong is greater than, you can set this to whatever you want. I'm going to choose four. So if you get four wrong guesses, or in this case it would be five since it's greater than four, then let's go ahead and print. Oh, we'll print you lose. We'll also print the correct word. So we'll say I picked and then picked. And then we'll also break our loop. All right, let's try it out. Okay, so I'm going to just intentionally guess wrong letters. So I'm going to guess J, J, and probably one more time. All right, and I'm being kind of dumb here. So if it doesn't add to the list, obviously the list is not going to get greater than five. So let's actually guess some different wrong letters. So Q, P is correct. I'll guess W. So I'm at three now. K, let's guess V, and that's it. So it prints out the message you lose. It also says I picked and then the word. All right, so far so good. Let's go ahead and head back and add a few more things. Okay, so what we'll do next is we'll actually display the picture of the hangman every time you get a wrong guess. To do that, what I did is I just created another Python file. Um, I called this one hangman underscore parts. And then basically what I did, I just used several print statements to print out different parts of the hangman picture. And I put this as a function called parts, and it takes in x, which and later on what we're going to do is we're going to put the length of the wrong list. So if the length of the wrong list is zero, which would mean there's zero wrong guesses, then we'll just print out the empty hangman picture. If we get one wrong guess, we'll print out the head, and then each one just prints out more and more pieces of the hangman picture. Okay, the way you add this to your other program is at the very top, we need to say from hangman underscore parts. We're going to import. And let me just double check to see if I called it part or parts. So parts. Okay, just like that. So from this file here, we're going to be importing the function that we're using. And then I need to display parts every time I get a wrong guess. So we'll do that right here. I'll just say parts. And then inside of here, I'm going to pass the length of the wrong list. And I'll also print out this picture at the very beginning. So let's do it right here. And then we'll just put length of wrong, just like that. OK, so let's go ahead and run the program and see if it prints out the picture. Okay, good. So it puts it at the very beginning. Uh, it has seven letters, so that means the word is program. So let's go ahead and guess a wrong letter. So if I guess the letter F, it adds a head to it. If I guess another wrong letter, like let's say X, then it adds more to the picture. And once I get to four, like I did before, then it'll end the program. Okay, so we're getting close to the end of this. There's just a few more things we can add. Up here, we can create another function. 
we're gonna say define and then let's do wait and what we're gonna do for this one so we're gonna say for I in range 5 we're gonna print we're gonna print periods and then for end we're gonna set that equal to just quotation marks like that and then we're gonna sleep for 0.5 seconds and at the end we'll print a new line so to be able to use this part right here we need to go up to the top and say from time import sleep and what this is going to do this is just an extra feature and this is the part that I use where it says uh, let me think of a word and then waits for some amount of time above that what we're going to do is we'll say right here we're going to print let oh, in quotation marks so let me think of a word and then we'll run the wait function just like that so let's see how this looks let me think of a word and then it does the periods for a certain amount of time and then it prints out this uh, you can also add this part in a couple other um, spots so you can add it um, right down here so after the guess you can do print and then for this part you say let me check and then run the function okay we'll take a look at this so let me think of a word prints out the picture if I guess a letter let me check and then it adds it to the right spot okay and let's quickly go back to the code I know this video is getting kinda long and quickly from the top we're just gonna run through this and quickly explain it so at the very top we're importing random so that we can do random dot choice so we can pick a word from this list here this part we're creating another file where we create the pictures of the different hangman positions from that we're importing the function called parts here we're in, from time we're importing sleep so that we can have a delay in our program this right here is the list of words that I can choose from this variable is storing the random choice from the list this is just printing out a message that says the word has and then the number of letters we have two different lists one for right one for wrong we're populating the right list with um, underscores that matches the number of letters in the word this function right here just prints out the different underscores and letters in the right list this function here is just the extra that we just added and it just delays the program for a little bit and says let me think of a word or let me check down here in the main loop what we're doing is we're getting an input from the user we're having the user guess a letter and then if the guess is in picked then we're gonna add it to the right list in the correct position otherwise we're gonna check to see if our guess is already in the wrong list if it's not we'll go ahead and add it if it is already in the wrong list then we're going to print a message that says you already guessed that this section right here this is the number of guesses that you'll give the user before you'll end the program and you'll probably base this a bit based on how big your words are so if you have really small words you probably want to give them less guesses if you have larger words and probably give them more guesses alright if the underscores if there's no more underscores in the right list which means you guessed all the letters then you'll print a message that says you win and then you'll break alright so sorry about the long video this is the entire hangman program you're welcome to add more stuff to it or restructure it to make it better. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one.